What's up, YouTube? Got a topic to talk about today that gets talked about some, but not near as much as knives, and that is not knife related EDC items. Well, obviously, if you're here, you're here for the knives, but um, something that's also important is the other stuff that we carry, not just knives. Sorry about that. So that could include a flashlight, something on your keys multi-tool what you write with or different kind of wallet so uh yeah stay stick around i'm gonna go over this little overview and uh first we're gonna start with flashlights pretty self-explanatory why you need a flashlight to see but um personally i prefer these pocket size flashlights uh single a or double a size light i guess like the way it fits it's almost like a tube of chapstick maybe gets a little bit longer um, I know there's a lot of strong opinions about Olight. I have some as well, but I love the i3. It is one of my favorite lights. I just love it, especially since I bought it for $10 two and a half years ago. It has held up really well. It's burned through many batteries, but I've also used it a lot. And it's starting to get the wear to show it. But if you don't carry one, you should consider carrying one because... You don't realize how bad your phone flashlight is until you actually get a even as a halfway decent ten fifteen dollar triple A light you can find on Amazon. There's so many options for good lights now, and it's light knives. The budget realm is growing every day, and it's really opening up. And yeah, so many options. There's no excuse not to, especially when they're this small. I found myself using a flashlight more than I ever thought I would. And it's just something cool and new to get into, I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Um, something I use a lot. is isn't specific to anybody, but we get, uh, this little keychain bottle opener is so helpful. Because I, I can use it as a cap lifter. I've, I've used a little cap lifter for all kinds of stuff on this thing. Um, even if I just fidget with it on the keys. But the bottle opener works great. This is a this is made by Rones Titanium Tools. I can't remember the model. I can't find it anywhere else. But um, I'd really consider getting a just a bottle opener to stay on the keychain. There's uh, all kinds of uses for this. Kind of sharp, so keep that in mind. The little rings can be sharp as well, so keep that in mind as well. But uh, I like just having a good bottle opener with me because you never know. You may go somewhere after work. You might go to a friend's house. Or you just might be at your house and don't want to search for a bottle opener. And you have your keys right here. And you can just pop it open. But um, to me, I don't carry these in my pocket. I keep it in my bag. My gym bag serves as a EDC bag as well. And that's a good Leatherman or any other multi-tool. I prefer Leatherman's. Um, this one is the one that stays in my house. This is an original Leatherman. The knife is broke off. But there's just so many uses. Like, you got a file. A lot of people break those off as, you know, trying to use it as a pry bar. Got screwdrivers. Uh, screwdrivers. Can openers. There's more reasons to carry a multi tool than there is not to. Plus, nobody's intimidated by a set of pliers. Um, they're just good, solid tools. Really, not much to say here. It's pretty self-explanatory why you need a multi-tool. It's basically a mini toolbox that folds up. You can store it away. And where is it at? pouch I had a pouch sitting here hold up where is my pouch here it is I got this is a free pouch I got from Olight got it on one of their sales I guess got it because it was free but something like this you get stow away put it in your bag put it in a pocket forget about it but it's there when you need it by the way a good I've I've found these little pouches are very helpful. 
I keep a knife, multi-tool, knife fitting in here right now. I'm changing them out. Extra flashlight, uh, just a cheap pin. Back here, it's got a little pocket. I keep batteries, like extra double A's, triple A's. Uh, sometimes to keep a little uh, screwdriver set in there. But this is really nice, gets to tuck away, keep extra stuff in there. Not saying you gotta buy Olight, like, there's plenty of other brands that, there's plenty of small makers that make uh, leather ones that are way nicer than this. But for me, this works really good. And uh, I'm glad that I have one to keep in my bag because I wouldn't keep this in a pocket because obviously it's kind of chunky and large. But um, yeah. Anyways, next, uh, a pin. Actually, this is still a cheap pin. Uh, at nine dollars so it could kind of be expensive it's the most expensive pen i bought because normally i just buy a big pack of pilot or sharpie pens which by the way if you want cheap pens get these sharpie s gels i love them actually one of my favorite pens i actually like it better than the pilots um but i use a pen daily filling up my time sheets and daily reports from work and i guess like having a nice one especially something being that i'm a construction worker having something heavy duty and that's not going to break or crack on me is real nice to have plus the metal gets looks and feels nice and it's just a well-made pen works as it should Here we go, okay. So I'm like a scribble on. You can see just normal pen. It's not a gel pen, it has a standard insert, but uh, it's worth checking out. Definitely worth checking out getting a nicer pen than just your standard plastic pens. Um, something, everybody carries a wallet, at least most men do. And they can kind of be bulky and large and cumbersome. I carry a trifold during the week but usually when I'm at home, I have gym shorts on and I don't like carrying those wallets if I go out. So I have, I guess, you know, a recycled firefighter. It's a, you know, like canvas hose, nylon outline, and then has a band back here. I use it for cash. Mine isn't as uh, elastic as it used to be. It's kind of old. I've had this for, I don't know, five years or so. And it's been great. Then I also have this little leather one I've been using a lot lately too. It has a little single pocket in the front and the back. Um, I keep a little cash inside. And I kind of keep my cards in the front. Yeah, I forgot it's got a middle pocket in here too. Mm. Anyways, I digress. I forgot what my own stuff has. But this is like a, an example of picking something up from a lo local leather maker. I picked this up at a farmer's market for $15, and I've had it for six months maybe now, six, seven months, five at a minimum, but this thing is, whew, I love it. It's so much better than carrying around a big bulky wallet during the weekend. I can just slide what I need into this and just have what I need on me and be able to keep it just compact and lightweight and but uh, yeah, these are a few extra items I'd consider adding to your EDC if you don't already have them. Because uh, you don't realize how nice some of this stuff is to have until you don't have it. Or you've used it and you don't have it anymore. But anyways, uh, I had just a few suggestions. I know it wasn't super well put together. I had the idea and I guess kind of went with it. But anyways, y'all have a good one. See ya.